Federated Open Key Service, or FOX for short, this could be a game changer. Imagine this, you rely on a third party service for storing secrets or managing encrypted files, and then boom, it gets acquired or it shuts down or changes its terms. Suddenly your entire workflow depends on a service you don't control. Or maybe you tried deploying your own encrypted Git server constantly worrying about misconfigurations or just forgetting to rotate or revoke your keys properly. This is where Fox changes the game. It's an open source developer friendly alternative to Keybase built from scratch in Go with federated servers that you can self host or pick a provider you trust, end to end encrypted Git and key value storage, which is perfect for API keys, configs or sensitive files, post quantum security, which means your data stays safe even if quantum computers become real in the future, and full YubiKey and SSO support. So you can plug and play these features for your existing services. And the best part is, the client and not the server controls the keys. So even if your server gets hacked, your data is useless to the attackers. So when it comes to Fox, here's why it stands out. It has end-to-end -end encrypted Git hosting. So your commits, your file names and history stays encrypted on your local machine. Let me show you how easy it is to create an encrypted Git repo with Fox. First, make sure you install Fox. I'm using Homebrew for this, but you can check installation instructions for your specific machine. Before we do anything, we must start the Fox control agent by running Fox CTL start. This will ensure all our operations are protected. Next, we run Fox sign up to create a new user and go through the flow. Press enter to get started, choose to go ahead and create a new user. And at this point, you're asked to choose a home server. If you have your own dedicated server, you would choose your own custom server. But for this demonstration, we'll just use the federated server provided by Fox.app. Then enter your user email address. You can also add an invite code if you're onboarding other users on your team. I will skip this and leave it blank. Then choose a username. And now you need to specify the device name where the access key is going to be stored. You can type here whatever you choose. I'm just going to write MacBook Pro for my case. Now your account is created and Fox shows you what you can do next. Create a backup key, host files, host a Git repo, create a team or set up billing for your server. And you can now press enter to exit. Now if we type Fox key list, it will give us all the keys created by our users. Since we only created one single key for our test user, Fox will display this security message warning us that we might lose all data access to this account if we lose this single key. Since this is a demonstration, I will ignore this for now and just use the clear device nag message command telling Fox that I understand the risks. Now we can finally create our repo. We can do that by running Fox git create followed by the name of your repo. And once we do that, we will see that Fox has now created a remote repository on their server. This is a notable difference because Fox creates a remote repository first. So now we need to clone it onto our own local machine. Notice how we see Fox is being initialized when we clone the repo. This means Fox encryption is now enabled for this repo automatically. We can now create some data on our repo. I will just go ahead and create a github.key with some secret key content in it. And now I can add it and commit the change to the repo. Now when I push it back to remote, we see again that Fox is encrypting all our data under the hood. And boom, your repo is now fully encrypted before it even leaves your machine. The server only sees ciphertext. And client key management is a breeze. You can easily see all the keys on your server by running Fox key list, and you can revoke them by ID as well. So even if one of your company's laptops get stolen, you can immediately revoke that key and all the other keys will get rotated automatically. And the best part is that the clients control the keys. So even if your server gets hacked, none of that data can be decrypted. But here's something really cool. Fox claims it's post quantum secure. So what does that actually mean? Most encryption today relies on complex math that's safe against regular computers, but it could easily be broken by quantum computers once they become a thing. Fox uses two layers of encryption. One is the proven curve 25519 plus a post quantum algorithm called MLKEM. Honestly, I have no idea what that means, but I trust that the security pros know what they're doing. But basically what it means is that an attacker would have to break both systems 
to get to your data, which is almost certainly impossible, at least for now, which means your data is probably secure for the next decade at least. And here's another thing, whether you care about privacy or developer control, Fox solves another big problem, vendor lock-in. Unlike centralized services, you can pick a server with policies that you trust, or you can just host your own. And since it's open source, you can audit, fork, or even run your own hosting service. Fox is still in beta, but they're already planning to expand their features to mobile apps, sync-based file systems, and encrypted chats. And since it's federated, we might see entire communities running their own Fox servers in the near future. If you value privacy or security, or you just want the self-hosted alternative to Keybase, Fox is absolutely worth trying out. I'll leave the links to the GitHub repo and the white paper in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful, and we will see you in the next one.